do you think you guys made in the, on, in the second half to make you guys successful? I wouldn't say anything. It was just uh, doubling down our fundamentals and techniques and all playing on the same page. Uh, I believe we shot ourselves in the, front, in the foot the first half, and we all, uh, again, came on the same page. Uh, the results proved themselves. Can you walk us through that big fourth down stop in the second half? Yeah, I was just trying to be the most physical team. Um, everybody, again, being one of 11th, doing their job, just playing to the face of the opponent, and uh, they paid dividends right there on that down. Did you did you feel like they were going to challenge you just straight course. up the middle? Like, Yeah, a big part of their game was the run game. It was around 40 attempts per game uh, going into this one. So we knew that was going to be a pivotal part of what they do. And so, yeah, we prepared for it. What do you think it is about Coach Lee that allows him to make such successful second half adjustments? Uh, he speaks for himself. He's obviously one of the smartest people in the game right now. They obviously trust us to do our job. So he always sets us up uh, in the best position to be successful. And we just uh, go out and uh, play our roles. What's Coach Henny like in those halftime situations? Yeah, he's a very passionate individual, to say the least. And so he'll get on us, uh, make sure we're all on the same page, uh, get us right, and then we all go out to a call here and execute. You guys had a major advantage in time of possession. How helpful was it for the offense to keep you guys off the field in the second half? Yes, yeah, so that's a kind of a big turnaround from last week. So obviously keep both sides of the ball kind of fresh. Um, defense now is on the field all the, uh, the majority of the game. So get our legs back underneath us and uh, always be able to come on the sideline and be able to make adjustments as well. And so again, we were able to do that and that's the result shown for it. What was the mindset of the defense this week in practice? How did you guys approach it after a tough loss? Right, so we were still, we knew the defense could be, uh, even though the score didn't show for it last week, uh, we had, you know, results still show. We came out that second half last week and uh, held our own. And we did the same thing today. So we still have confidence in the defense that we can be under Coach Lynn, under all of our coaches. And uh, we try to try to showcase that every single down. Is there a reason you can point to that in the last two weeks you guys have been more susceptible to big plays in the first half compared to the second? Just not always locked in. That's what really it is. Starting off slow. Obviously, we want to limit that as much as we can. But we try not to focus on that. We try to focus on the next play mentality. Devin, Devin Thompson stepped up in the rotation this week. How do you think he did? Oh, that's one of my biggest fans on this team. So, obviously, proud of him. Have all the confidence in the world of him. And obviously, going to expect more big plays to be made down the line. Coach Riley talked about Coach Lynn's ability to make second half adjustments, being on the defense. How have you seen him kind of handle that? Or what? what have you noticed about him and his ability to make those adjustments? I think I kind of touched on it. He's obviously one of the smartest in the game. He's very confident in his ability and also, and also the demon's ability to go out there and execute. So whenever he steals that confidence to us, it's not hard to go out there and do what he tells us to do and execute. Is there something a team can have or, or just the players to know we can be a second half team, we can make adjustments, we can stay calm when things are going like that? Sorry, can you repeat the question, sir? Is there something a team can have that you can point to to know we can be a second half team, we can stay calm if things are going poorly because we can turn To so point to, I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, we've shown that last two games that we can do that when the time calls for it. Obviously, though, we don't want to put ourselves in the hole going forward, but we know the team we can be any given down, any given play on every single side of the ball. So. We don't want to be in that position, but we showcase that we could be a team that's very, very resilient by, uh, through, you know, thinking thin. We talked about in the first half, uh, I think you said the team wasn't focused early on. How do you, are you aware of that during the, the first few times that uh, you're on the field? And what does that feel like? And how do you, how does that change in the second half? Obviously, you don't think that you're not focused going into the game, but the results show themselves. You go down, have three turnovers early. Uh, I get there's some people that are not locked in or units that are not on, all on the same page. It's about that camaraderie, have that confidence, have that communication skills to get on that same page and go out there and execute. And then the second, in the halftime thing, does the co does Coach Lynn tell you specific things that you messed up on, or is there or there's just you have to just play better in general? Are there specifics he talks about? It's Coach Lynn and Coach Riley, yeah, uh, big motivators, and yeah, they do definitely tell us what we weren't correct on in that first half and then we go obviously a big change this year is having those little iPads on the sideline with us so we can see in real time mm -hmm. what we weren't good at and able to correct it then and there. Where was the most successful adjustment maybe defensively that you saw from the first half to second half? Again, I don't really think it goes to adjustment. I just goes to someone maybe 10 at 11, one person not doing their job and be able to get all 11 on the same page on that set down and then the play shows itself. What steps what need to be taken to avoid slow starts going forward? This same, really, I wouldn't say there's a difference between made in practice. Got to kind of verbalize that, have a great start, uh, start off hot and ready, first play mentality. And uh, even if we do mess up, it's all about the next play. The next play is always the best play. Nate, you, Nate, Nate you and uh, Gavin were both transfers. I'm wondering, like, how has that relationship grown with you both being starters on the defensive line? Right, so one of the, again, oldest guys on the team, 
uh, necessarily didn't come from winning program, but we know what it takes to be successful, I would say. And so trying to instill that into a relatively younger group outside of us, um, just trying to be the best D-line, obviously under a great coach who can, whose resume speaks for itself, try to be the best D-line we could possibly be. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Thank you all so much.